Hello there. Now, for the last few diorama videos, I've been saying that we're overdue a Star Wars mech. So far this year, I've made a Mario diorama. I've made a Sonic diorama. Well, well, I've added Sonic to the Mario diorama, but that was for Mario Kart. Of course, we've just got some Mario Kart sets unveiled for next year, which is going to be really exciting news when we get to see them. I've done a Naboo diorama for Duel of the Fates. I've done a Tantive diorama. I've done a giant Moss Espa diorama just behind for the pod racing scene, celebrating 25 years of Star Wars, as with technically two of these dioramas as well. So a bunch of Star Wars dioramas, and yet not really any mechs. The last mech I built was this Ahsoka mech, which does look pretty cool. Posable legs as well as posable arms, which honestly is a must-have for these dioramas. I think Ahsoka has definitely been the best one so far and if you haven't checked her video out definitely be sure to i'll leave that linked in the description or the end screen one or the other but today of course you might have been hoping for a kenobi mech but we do indeed have a darth maul so we'll be taking a look at that goes great with the ahsoka as it is the darth maul from season seven and i'd love to hear your thoughts on it down in the comments below but of course first you need to see it and as you can see, Darth Maul does also have some posable arms and legs, as with all of my other mechs. And I have tried to fill in that gap for Darth Maul. Honestly, I don't think I've done it as well as I did for Ahsoka, but I'm a big fan of how the robotic legs are turned out, of course. They can be posed better than the one piece that Lego used, and I've also tried to add some detail. Perhaps that's his pocket on either side of his legs. And most of this figure is actually based on the Lego Darth Maul figure, of course. When it comes to the arms, I did have to improvise a little bit and get up an image of Maul from the show, especially to get the extra little black armor piece that's over his shoulders. Then the dark brown sleeves covered mostly by these black gloves. But I think it turned out very well i did end up using the black mech sort of torso piece that i haven't really used for many but as i use the dark blue one for ahsoka i thought it was only fair that i use it for more i am using more from the same set as ahsoka from that season seven doll and though we also saw ahsoka in an aat which at the time many people struggled to get their hands on while my local stores were just packed with a bunch of them it is a slight shame we didn't see more in any of the other sets i know we got gar saxon in bow's gauntlet but it would have been great to have seen a red version of it especially with the different colors i think lego now know that they can definitely recolor a few sets give them to us and i wouldn't be surprised if we see a recolored mando starfighter for an n1 naboo starfighter some point soon i've also custom made Maul's lightsaber here which as you can see uses two different lightsaber pieces and that is just to increase the width of the saber and also a great idea for a custom Cal Kestis lightsaber because it can be pulled apart and used as two separate lightsabers or perhaps when it's cut in half as Maul's lightsaber regularly is it can then be used as two separate and you can sort of reenact that in your play now I do believe Maul holds his lightsaber this way round. You could technically even get a second hand to this blade. So I know the video isn't for this lightsaber. There is a whole mech, but just to take a closer look, you can see that it uses a regular black lightsaber hilt and a Sarge Ventress's hilt, which if you did pick up the set with a Sarge in, I think she came in the same one as Savage Press. So it was a great set that I'm very happy to have got when I was younger. And I did have a spare, so Maul can have it as well as a Surge. In fact, I think I've even given them to Barris Offie at some point. But these lightsabers, much like Ahsoka's, do clip to the side of Maul. You can see there are some clips just under his arm that you clip the hilt to, and they're held in pretty secure for what you're doing. I guess if you're playing with this mech, you might want to disconnect them or perhaps just add another one of these clip pieces in which you can see when I'm not covering up because they do have a tendency if you flick the back to flick out. I haven't really seen many problems with these ones but the Ahsoka ones especially definitely have a tendency to 
pop out of the side from time to time so as i said the arms are fully extendable and as you can see there is a tooth piece there which quite nicely covers that gap and is the same height as the hinge so there isn't a giant gap waiting for the stud to cover up there's a few extra pieces like these round two by two under tiles which i've used just to smooth off the bottom and the robotic legs i've added a stud or a tiled round one by one piece on the back just to give it a bit more definition some ingots and slopes and even some more of these teeth pieces i don't think i've ever used as many teeth pieces as i have in this mock here to represent the robotic legs of maul and as you can see it does look like he has two teeth on the lego minifigure at the bottom so i've tried to represent that well giving him quite thinner knees than with ahsoka and there's definitely a bit more definition on the legs and he still stands up just the same as any other one and you can pose these legs perhaps he's standing up straighter to match the ahsoka one or he could even be running at some sort of angle i guess you wouldn't want to bend his knee like that but if you do decide to have him posed somewhat differently i just think having these somewhat hinged legs is just a greater decision for lego they definitely need to invent some piece at least that we can do this with perhaps even the same size as the last one but just add this hinge ability to it because it is really nice to be able to pose the legs however you want and just mirrors more of a black series action figure in this mech form of course Maul does have the odd red highlights most notably on his chest I'm still not convinced that this is the best I could do but I've tried a few different pieces like the 2x2 with a triangle angle coming down and just a regular tile and this was by far better than the other two so I am quite happy with this and as you can see Ahsoka's lightsaber has just popped off which is exactly what I was talking about earlier if we pose the legs similarly to how Mauls are posed the two mechs are the same height and that does mean they would be perfect in a scene together and perhaps that's something I could look at doing in the future. But for now, these two are just going to join the rest of my Star Wars mechs on display. Perhaps I can show them off in a future video once I've got a few more as it's definitely changed a lot since you last saw it. But that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoy. Drop a like if you do. Subscribe for more awesome Lego content. And may the bricks be with you always. Mm -hmm.